Welcome back to Enemy Archives, where enemies from the Legend of Zelda series are brought into the light. This episode's featured enemy is another member of the Blin family of monsters, and it's also fairly well known, though not by name. This creature is called the Mini Blin. Mini Blins are nearly always a package deal. They are only found in three games in the main series, but they are very plentiful wherever they are found. They usually wield smaller versions of weapons, like tridents or pitchforks, and they are relentless when in groups. Mini blends are also known for the annoying, albeit humorous, noises they make. Despite this, many don't even know their actual name. So, now that we know what we're dealing with, I present to you Enemy Archives Mini Blends. Wind Waker. Mini blends were first seen in the flooded world of Wind Waker. These impish enemies are found on multiple islands across the Great Sea, but they are particularly memorable for their appearance in the Forsaken Fortress. While Link is roaming the fortress unarmed, it's possible that he will wander into a completely harmless room. That is, harmless looking. After walking around for a minute, strange little monsters will start running to him from off-screen. If Link doesn't act fast, these monsters will start stabbing him and laughing at him without mercy. Many blends are extremely annoying, since they will even walk up walls to pursue their target. While it may be best to immediately run, if Link tosses some all-purpose bait on the ground, the many blends will become distracted, giving Link a chance to get away. Many blends are especially defenseless, so they can be destroyed by a pot or a single blow from most weapons. Interestingly, if Link is near a body of water and flees from a group of mini blends, they will run to the nearest water and promptly drown themselves in it. Even if the nearest water is over a cliff, the mini blend will happily scurry down the cliff to its watery doom. Why they do this is a mystery perhaps one to be solved at another time. Regardless, mini blends in Wind Waker are one of the most irritating, as well as confusing, enemies in the entire series. I mean, come on, they sound like this. Phantom Hourglass The second game in the adult timeline, Phantom Hourglass takes place directly after Wind Waker. As such, it makes sense that many enemies from Wind Waker would be carried over, mini blends included. These mini blends look a lot like their predecessors, but they behave a little bit smarter. Mini blends can be found across the several islands in the game, but they make their biggest appearance on the Isle of Gusts. They can be found in massive numbers here, and it is only made worse by the fact that strong gales are continually blowing Link around. The mini blends, however, are unaffected by these winds, and as such this makes fighting them off significantly harder. Once Link gets past all of these pests, he will be close to entering the Temple of Wind. Even then, though, Link cannot escape the mini blends, for they can be found inside the temple as well. In fact, mini blends are also found in the Temple of the Ocean King. Is there nowhere Link can escape these monsters? There happens to be another kind of mini blend more familiar with the ocean in Phantom Hourglass, but we'll take a look at them in just a few minutes. Before we keep going, I'll announce the results of the last episode's quiz. Let's see. It looks like 8% of the answers were answer A, nobody guessed B or C, 75% guessed D, and 16% threw in the towel and answered E. Well, it turns out that D, the Ocean Realm, was the correct answer. If you want to see what this quiz was about, go check on the episode on Boar Blends and Big Blends. There's another quiz towards the end of this video, too, so keep an eye out! Alright, 
Back to our regularly scheduled program. Spirit Tracks Miniblends took a somewhat different role in Spirit Tracks, where they became very common in Pirate Encounters. They are the main minion of the Big Blin, and they are primarily responsible for capturing prisoners. When Link is taking a passenger through the Ocean Realm, a ship full of pirates may attack. When this happens, Hordes of mini-blends will break into the passenger car to kidnap the passenger and attack Link. Should they succeed, the passenger will be taken to the Pirate Fortress, where Link must rescue them before he can take any other passengers. Mini-blends also appear in the Tower of Spirits, the central dungeon of the game. However, instead of fighting on foot like the rest, these mini-blends will ride on top of Armos statues. These mini-blends are safe from harm as long as they are higher than Link, but if Link blows them off of their statues with the Whirlwind item, they will be completely open to attacks. Link can also ride on Phantom Zelda's back and attack the mini-blend directly, but this can be tricky to line up. Either way, after the mini-blend is dealt with, its Armos mount will promptly explode. While many blends are generally pirates in spirit tracks, in Phantom Hourglass there is a whole group of many blends who specialize in pirate activities. They are appropriately named pirate many blends, and they look the part too. These many blends have a more aquatic appearance, but when it comes to combat, they act mostly the same as regular many blends. Link's first encounter with these pesky pirates is on a strange boat near Molida Island. Several pirate mini-blends can be seen inside, stalking around near an unconscious fellow in the center of the boat. The mini-blends aren't too much of a threat, so they can be dealt with fairly easily. After they are gone, Link can talk to the man on the ground, and after a few attempts, he will wake up and introduce himself as Naive, a member of the Maritime Defense Force. Miniblends make one final unusual appearance in the Pirate Fortress of Spirit Tracks. As long as no passengers have been captured lately, Link can return to the Pirate Fortress to play a minigame much like the escape sequence. This is triggered by speaking to a Goron outside, who will let him know about a prisoner within the prison. However, if Link does not speak to the Goron before entering the fortress, he will enter to find a curious sight. A multitude of mini-blends who completely ignore him. Seriously, they will stay sitting down at tables around the room, and Link cannot harm them in this state no matter what he does. I guess that's just what mini blends do on their time off work. Now that you've had your fill of mini blend trivia, how about you try today's quiz? Here's the question How can Link distract a mini blend? A. By using the Whirlwind item. B. By throwing some all purpose bait. C. By taking away their weapon or D, by making Link's boomerang fly around in circles. Once you think you have the right answer, click or tap the small white card in the top right corner of the screen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, like like the video and subscribe and click the bell to be the first to see each new episode. I've got plenty in store for the future, but that's all for today. Once again, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time you're in the Legend Zone. What? Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah.